RC firing circuit allows control of firing angle over a wide range in comparison to R firing circuit. The circuit includes four diodes in a bridge configuration in parallel with a series RC network and a thyristor. The power to the load is controlled depending upon the firing angle of the thyristor. Consider an AC sine waveform as input to the circuit. Observe the waveform as it passes through the bridge configuration and appears across the thyristor. In the positive half cycle, diodes D1 and D2 are forward biased and current flows through the circuit as shown. In the negative half cycle, diodes D3 and D4 are forward biased and current flows in the circuit. As can be seen, for both cases, direction of current through the load remains the same. Hence, the voltage developed will have only one direction and thus it is denoted as VDC. To study the effect of capacitor on the triggering of the thyristor, consider positive half cycle charging the capacitor with upper plate positive and lower plate negative. The capacitor takes time to charge Hence, it will follow VDC graph but with a small delay. When the capacitor charges to a value VGT, which is the triggering voltage of the gate cathode junction, the thyristor starts conducting. The capacitor starts discharging, hence the voltage across it drops down to zero. The voltage across the capacitor remains zero till the end of the positive half cycle. In the negative half cycle, as the direction of load current remains same, capacitor charges with the same configuration, that is upper plate positive and lower plate negative. Once the triggering voltage VGT is reached, capacitor discharges, thus triggering on the thyristor. The voltage waveform of the capacitor thus is identical and continues for the rest of the cycle. The thyristor, when in blocking state, follows the input waveform. Once triggered into conduction, the voltage across it drops to zero. This pattern is depicted in the waveform Vt. The input waveform is spread across the load and the thyristor. If the thyristor waveform is subtracted from the input waveform, the load waveform is obtained. If a high resistance is put in series with a capacitor, then it takes longer to charge. Hence, the firing angle alpha is high. As a result, the output obtained is low. In comparison, if a low resistance is put in series with the capacitor, then it charges faster. Hence, the firing angle alpha is less. And as a result, the output obtained is high.